Wow, hello my people. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. Your wish has always been my command. Thanks always. Well, meanwhile, this is another one. All right, this is another one. Well, Governor is some wiki of River State on the match again on this one. And now we are talking about agitating about the Ondo State Governorship election which will be holding by next month october and as it is a lot of people have said a lot of things concerning this election that this election will be a free and fair one since a do election was a free and fair one this will definitely be a free and fair one i mean why governor yes some week has reacted to this and he said if INEC will be able to take the same step they took in a do election that definitely the PDP will win this election. That's what he has said so far. Meanwhile, he continued by saying that on do governorship election will definitely be won by the PDP. And he said in his word that a lot of Nigerians are hungry. Nigerians are not happy with the way the APC have been ruling this country. They are tired. So now they are coming back to vote for PDP. And as it is, he said, Nigerians have made up their mind that in every aspect, every state in Nigeria, APC, we have no chance to rule again that PDP is taking over. Well, that is it, my people, on this one. Meanwhile, let me release the audio, then you understand what I am talking about. In the Edo, as road agencies play the same role they played in Edo, I can assure you that PDP will win that election. Oh. But your opponent is very obvious. You see, look, Nigerians are tired. Nigerians are tired. Promises and promises and promises and promises of the party. Nobody's seen anything. It's not at the, at the center or the state because the state is different because he, he well, contested the state against the same problem. governor and he lost. Uh, you see, we're talking about the party. Who cares? What happens at the center? At the, the, at the state, in the same party, the same policy they follow. And the only fear I have as a concern on though today is that there's so much pressure on INEC now as security agencies. To do what? Of course, to make sure that for whatever it is, don't embarrass us. Who's, who's pressuring them? The APC. How is pressuring INEC? This is true. How can you tell, say for sure? I don't need to tell you my sort of information. What is the point of whether my information is irrelevant or not? I, I don't need to tell you. Okay, if I do tell you, how would I get my information again? But, this kind of but thing everybody happens. knows that. Everybody knows. Even NPC themselves know that they are putting so much pressure now on INEC and security agencies. And I see such a way that, look, INEC may, 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 may succumb to it. It's my prayer that they don't. It's my prayer that they don't. That you cannot to be firm as they did in Ondo. I mean, they do. But I doubt whether they can. Because people so thought that, that they thought the pressure on INEC is to do better than how they performed in Ondo in, uh, ah, State. You see, that's why we are <laughs> we we'll trying to make mistakes. Having lost Edo, everything until APC will be done to make sure that they don't lose uh, Ondo. Because if they lose Ondo, their fear is that, that uh, Nigerians will say, oh no, we can now see that this party is gone. But when you compare Edo with Ondo State, you also know that that incumbency effect played out in Edo State. Don't you think that will also play out in Ondo What is the incumbency factor in Edo? Sitting governor, the, sitting, the sitting governor was re-elected. What happened? Well, the sitting governor, when the security forces came against me, I was the sitting governor. So don't you think that will play out in Ondo State also? Not the point I'm trying to make. If he says uh, incumbency factor, yes. then I shouldn't have had a problem. Oh, you didn't lose. You didn't lose. You no, didn't because of the will of the people. So don't you so, think the will of the people lost? Uh, uh -huh. if, you, if you go to Ondo, you know that the will, is against, the will of the people is against 
the incumbent governor. Because recall, during the last election in Ondo State, the margin was about 90,000 votes. Yes. And, you know, for Edo State, the margin that, that we had in the previous election was increased for the incumbent okay. governor. So, using that same analogy for Ondo State, don't you think that was a No, no, you didn't. See, the factor you must, you must try to understand what happened in Edo State. I told you that the election was not between Opasuke and Oshimori. I don't want to talk about their candidate because for me, he was not there. The election was between a two people and Oshimori. That you have. Wow. Governor Yesom Wike has said a lot of things and a lot of people have been calling him a roaring lion. Oh my God. I remember that video that went viral where a lot of people, Edo Lights were screaming, Governor Wike, a roaring lion at Edo election when the INEC officials were trying to maneuver the result and when they did not want to release this result on time. But immediately, Governor Wike rose. Oh my god, the way these guys were saying is on social media, you will laugh. And they said immediately Governor Wiki entered, they trembled, and a lot of them quickly comported themselves and released the results. You can imagine what that means. Well, that is what he has said that if the INEC will be able to conduct this same election the way they conducted that of Edo State, that PDP certainly will win this election. That's what he has said so far. Me, a lot of people have no agreed with Governor Yeson Wike on this one and as it is we are hoping we are praying that this Ondo governorship election that will be coming up by October will be a free fair and credible one just like what happened in Edo State. Well let's see what happens in this Ondo governorship election. Well a lot of people have started concentrating in that area and they have started concentrating and they have started supporting the PDP as we can see but one good thing is that anything you are doing in life try and do well because now the legacy that the apc had dropped on ground had made a lot of people to like maybe we should just try pdp and as it is i we pray that pdp will continue to do well and i pray that the past Edo State election won by Governor Gordon Obaseki. They will prove point and I pray that they will be able to do exactly what the masses want and that is exactly what we make people to believe in this party and I am very sure Governor Gordon Obaseki is going to change the legacy for good. Well, still on the matter. Yes, let's keep all ends on deck to see what happens. Meanwhile, my people, let me have more take from you on this one. And remember to subscribe for more updates. Thanks.